How's it going everybody? This is Top Capable Channel. Apple has created many valuable products, and AirDrop is one of them, letting you to share files wirelessly across your Apple devices. But some of you may don't know how to use this useful feature. Today I'll show you how to transfer your photos and videos from your iPhone to your Mac and vice versa by using AirDrop along with some ideas for troubleshooting any issues you might be having. Let's dive in to see how. One thing to note is that AirDrop only works with devices that are within 30 feet, because it uses Bluetooth to create a connection and that's the distance limit for Bluetooth connectivity. So, make sure that your iPhone is placed near your Mac. As you can see, I have placed my iPhone near my Mac. The first step is to enable AirDrop, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. As you reach here, you may be wondering what to do if you don't have internet. No need to worry, you need to enable Wi-Fi but you don't need to connect a network. Since AirDrop uses point-to-point -point Wi-Fi to share files between Apple devices. So, let's go ahead and enable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and AirDrop. I will show you how to do that in the control center. If you're having an iPhone 8 and earlier with a physical home button, what you need to do is slide up from the bottom. See, you have got the control center screen. Long press the network settings card. Here pops up a bigger box with more icons. Tap on Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and AirDrop to enable them. Then, hold and press on the AirDrop icon. It will show you three options, receiving off, contacts only and everyone. Here you will need to tap on everyone to make sure your devices can AirDrop files to each other. If you're having an iPhone later than iPhone 8, what you need to do is slide down from the top to wake up the control center. Likewise, do the same thing to enable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and AirDrop. Don't forget to set AirDrop to everyone. Alright, the setup is done on your iPhone, now it's your Mac's turn. On your Mac, you can see your Bluetooth at the top right side. Click on it and from here, you can slide this button to turn it on. At the same area, you can see the Wi-Fi icon. Click it and slide the button to enable it. Here, you can also see the control center icon. Click on it. There are some options, like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and AirDrop. Of course, you can enable Bluetooth and Wi-Fi here. Now we need to enable AirDrop. Click on this icon to turn it to blue, which means AirDrop is on. What you will need to do next is click here and choose everyone. Okay, now everything is ready on both your devices. I'm going to send some photos and videos from my iPhone to my Mac. Open my Photos app. In my album, there is an option named Select at the top right corner, tap it. Then you'll be able to tap on the photos and videos you want to keep them selected. Alright, I have chosen all the photos and videos that I want. See, there is a share icon at the lower left corner of the screen, tap it. Here pops up a sub window on your iPhone showing you some options. From here, tap on the airdrop icon. Then your iPhone will show you the Apple devices nearby. All you need to do now is tap on your Mac's name to set it as the recipient. It's time to move to your Mac to receive these items. See, there is an airdrop notification, offering you two options, decline, accept. Click on accept. There is a drop down menu. You can save these items to downloads or open them in photos. Click on the option that you want. When you click on the save to downloads button, the downloads windows will appear. From the list, you can see the items that you transferred just now. If you click on the Open in Photos button, the Photos app will pop up. And you can find the items you transferred just now in the Library tab. Okay, that's all for using AirDrop to transfer photos and videos from iPhone to Mac. What I'm going to show you next is to AirDrop photos and videos from Mac to iPhone. Similarly, enable Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and AirDrop on your iPhone and Mac. On your iPhone, open the Control Center. Press and hold at the Network Settings card. The box becomes bigger. Tap on the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and AirDrop icon. Remember to set AirDrop to everyone. See, all of the icons that you tapped just now becomes blue, which means they are turned on. Move to your Mac, at the top right side, click on the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth icon to enable them. Find the control center icon and click on it. From here, enable AirDrop and set it to everyone. When everything is ready, open Photos app on your Mac. You can click on the item that you want to send to your iPhone. If you want to make multiple selections, right-click on the blank space and box the items you want. Once selected, click on the icon with an upward arrow. There are some options for you, go ahead to choose AirDrop. This will show you the AirDrop window. Click on your iPhone's name to set it as the recipient. Make sure your iPhone is on, otherwise you won't be able to see your iPhone in the AirDrop window. 
There will be a notification window on your iPhone asking you decline or accept. Tap on the accept button to confirm the transfer. Once tapped, the items you selected from your Mac will automatically appear in the Photos app on your iPhone. If your iPhone and your Mac are signed in with the same Apple ID, you won't see an option to accept or decline, it'll automatically get sent to your iPhone. The newly airdropped items will open in the Photos app on your iPhone. Ok, so those are all for how to airdrop photos and videos from iPhone to Mac and back. You can airdrop as many photos and videos as you like. However, for transferring a large number of photos and videos at once, your success will depend on how large your files are and how robust the processors on both devices are. The process can take more than 20 minutes and you cannot use either device during the file transfer. If you don't want to waste time, you can try iPhone Data Transfer from AppGeeker. iPhone Data Transfer can help you transfer photos, videos, music and other media files from iOS to Mac, Windows to iOS, iOS to iOS and vice versa in seconds. I have put the download link in the description below. This is how to transfer photos and videos from iPhone to Mac and back via AirDrop. I hope AirDrop also works for you without any problems. But if you have any problems, please tell me in the comment area. If you find this video is helpful, please hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.